Hi friends, having studied the history of pesticides, classification of pesticides, mode of action of a different group of pesticides in insects and their insecticide resistance and its management. Even then insecticides are one of the major components in insect pest management that everybody can understand. You know to use insecticides in IPM we should have three items to be considered. One is the physiological selectivity, another one is ecologically we should select the insecticide for inclusion in the IPM, third one is a behavioral selectivity. So, these three are most important in including in the IPM module and all these three things should standardize its time of application, its dosage of needs to be applied and the formulation to be used. So, time, dose and formulation are most important in all the three cases. Coming to the first one physiological selectivity of insecticides. You know insects growth and development uh, includes some of the hormones, particularly the juvenile hormone is very much required in maintaining the juvenility of the insect particularly in the larval development. If any compound interferes in its synthesis then the insect growth is affected. We have commercially synthesized juvenoids which interferes the synthesis of a juvenile hormone thereby the molting to the next stage is affected. So, commercially a lot of uh, juvenides are available as insecticide for use. Similarly, the another uh, uh, hormone required for insect growth and development is molting hormone or ecdysone which is very much required for uh, the molting process. If any hormone, if any substance uh, that interferes with the synthesis of uh, molting hormone again disrupts uh, the larval development. Commercially many synthesis have been undertaken wherein uh, the chitin synthesis inhibitors are commercially available in the market. So, when used as insecticide the molting is affected resulting in death of the insect. Lastly many of the microbial organisms in particular bacteria, viruses they are very specific to insect cell and viruses as you all know is very specific to the nucleus itself. So, they can be used as insect microbial insecticides under specific IPM situations. Coming to ecological selectivity one needs to study the life cycle of a particular insect pest for before its management. By studying the life cycle of the insect we will be understanding the weak points in its developmental stages or in its life cycle. By knowing the weak points we can use very minimum insecticide which is most effective at a low concentration thereby the target species can also be checked as well as the natural enemies can also be prevented. To quote an example in case of cotton in the first early days that is up to 30, 35 days leaf hopper or jacid is one of the important pest on cotton. It affects the growth of the plant. This can be effectively checked with the seed treatment chemical or insecticide at a low dosage just about 5 grams per kg of seed which not only checks the leaf hopper or the jacid incidence, but spares the natural enemies in the ecosystem thereby we also get the benefit of these natural enemies in preventing the leaf hopper population. The another important insecticidal selectivity is behavioral selectivity based on studying the insect behavior because each species has its own behavior from insect to insect there is variation. Again within the insect larvae has a different behavior, adult has a different behavior. Once after studying the knowledge of this behavioral impact 
you know it can be very well used to to our advantage to quote an example in case of spodoptera you know it, which is a leaf eating caterpillar which is a polyphagous pest on many crops wherein the larvae is the damaging stage which is nocturnal in habit that means it feeds during night time only so this larval behavior that is feeding during the night time we have to use it in the ipm practice any application of insecticide during day time will not work efficiently because the larvae will not be active at all the same thing the same pest can be effectively checked if used poison bait technique using insecticide and molasses and some ingredient prepare the poison bait and uh, sprinkle in, in the field wherever uh, the spodoptera problem is there during uh, dust covers which effectively controls even the grown up larvae also so that's why this behavior can be used in uh, timing uh, our uh, ipm uh, practice coming to the integration of insecticides in various uh, methods of control you know even this insecticides can be very effectively integrated with biological control itself leave aside other methods to quote an example of integration of insecticide with biological control say in case of cotton the first 30 days seed treatment can work wherein there will not be any foliar application of insecticides and then the bollworm damage starts particularly the adult moths start laying their eggs on the egg squares then the flowers and these egg population can be prevented by inundative release of egg parasitoid trichogramma species maybe one or two applications will bring down the population in the egg stage itself later on sprayable formulation of insecticides can be used so this is how seed treatment followed by inundative release of egg parasitoids then followed by spray formulation of insecticides can be integrated then all these insecticides you know they only act as a curative control whenever the damage is there whenever we apply insecticide they effectively bring down the population then all these insecticides you know will have a rapid curative measure so immediately after seeing the economic damage if you apply the incidence will come down below the economic threshold level and another feature of insecticides is they have wide range of uses and their application technology also varies from species to species and crop to crop one need to know before integrating insecticides in the ipm schedule lastly and the most important the benefit cost ratio of insecticide use is most important in majority of the cases or rather in all the cases you know one is to more than one ratio should be there with insecticide use there are examples that uh, by spending 1 rupees there is a benefit up to 10 rupees that means one is to 10 is also there so anything i said one is to more than one is always favorable in insecticidal management benefits of pesticides also we should understand so as i said these pesticides are most effective and reliable against wide variety of insect pests in a given crop in a given ecosystem and they are very effective or quick acting on the stage of the insect that we want to manage and as i said they provide immediate cure then they are most economical when used appropriately that means at the right time at the right dosage if used they are most economical and for the former point of view it is very easy to apply insecticides compared to some of the other methods of insect pest management and then you know whenever there is a new insect on a crop we can test a particular insecticide within one season and then immediately recommend or include in the ipm package but the same thing will not hold good with reference to resistant varieties or with reference to natural enemies integration because each technology takes 
about 4 to 5 seasons before including in the IPM package. Some of the negative aspects also we should know. So, as I already dealt you know all pesticides if used indiscriminately or regularly or continuously chances of exposure is much more and the development of resistance to insecticide happens for various insects. We have classic examples already I have indicated and another thing is insecticidal application to the applicator itself starting from headache, vomiting to carcinogenicity there are lot of reports available to us. And then another important thing the effect on non target organisms particularly the natural enemies, the pollinators, wildlife and residues in the plants itself has got uh, a major negative effect. Then the factor concerned with environmental contamination you know the food residues left uh, the insecticide residues left in the food and water cause a major threat to higher animals and uh, human being. Lastly the insecticide synthesis itself in the production stage itself uh, one need to take care in its transportation one need to take care even in its uh, storage at the retail level also one needs to take otherwise uh, a lot of uh, environmental hazards risk hazards are associated. Knowing all these things even today particularly in a tropical and subtropical conditions because of uh, the insect population outbreak we need to include insecticides in the IPM and we need to observe a definite framework. In my opinion it should be used only to avoid the predictable economic damage. Whenever the other control measures are not working then only we need to go for insecticide application in the IPM strategy. Secondly these insecticides work as an alternative means and they are curative as I said they are curative in its approach. Lastly their socio-economic conditions also to be taken into consideration particularly the cost of the insecticides and the uh, uh, benefit that we get also should be considered before inclusion in the IPM. So to conclude you know the insecticide from the practical perspective in IPM each letter of the word insecticide carries a meaning. I should refers to an integral or integrated component, N refers to a rather insecticide should not become a necessary evil, S refers to it should not be a sole component it should be a special component in IPM, E refers to economical naturally the cost benefit ratio should be more, C is as I said always it is curative whenever you see the economic damage immediately you can bring down using insecticides you know it is time tested T refers to time tested that means with single testing you can immediately include in the IPM package. I is easily implementable from the former point of view C refers to critical that means at times of outbreak of insect on a particular crop there is no other technique to overcome this problem. So, insecticide come to our rescues or to the farmers rescue and then I is which is most important again from the farmers point of view income fetching that it should be higher CB ratio and then D of course it should be deadly to the target species safe to the natural enemies and lastly it should be very effective. So, considering each word with its own meaning insecticides become a major component in the IPM. Thank you.